Tora Berger and she's only 13.5 outside my goodness she's still skiing at the same margin just that little bit quicker she's taking 15 seconds out of Tora Berger on every lap she's got another two laps to go so if they shoot the same you would expect uh, Dom Rasheva to win this one that's incredible skiing from Dom Rasheva it's going to be close we have to wait and see what happens uh, on the last shoot Kirsner only three penalties so far now she might prove you wrong mike if she goes clear i hope she does <laughs> trying to dig your way out of a hole <laughs> <laughs> just two to go well done her lots of movement it'll be lucky if it goes down no it's still good there for gusner 16 hits out of 20. Gregorin can match Brunei. That's an expensive miss. Good focus. Good focus. Four out of five. So uh, two misses in the standing position for Gregorin. And the Slovenians have to be happy with that. Slovenia, of course, who. Uh, produced some great results at the World Championships last year. Andrea Henkel trying to wrap her race up with five out of five. She does exactly that. That's a good comeback from uh, Andrea Henkel. So 18 out of 20. It won't win her the race today, but it will certainly give her the sort of result that will give her confidence for Saturday, Sunday. It's very good, and I think it's going to be today. We see some of the big names are finding it difficult on the range. Now Henkel really got into her stride on the last two visits. Can she challenge Palka? Vilkina still clear after two shoots and we have seven who've achieved that so far. That, nope. Sorry, Patrick, that shot was a half hit at one o'clock. Smack in the middle for number four and five. Good finish. So, 15 out of 15 for Vilikina. So far clear after three. Tora Berger we know about. Marie-Laura Brunet was clear at that stage, but then went on to miss on the last shoot. And Letla of Estonia. Now, Letla of Estonia started number 14. It will only be a couple of minutes before she comes in for a final shoot. And if she hits all five on that last shoot, it will without doubt be her best ever result. Well, there are the standings after three. Berger, Tomrashva, Vilkina, Brunei, Gasparin. Okay, the big names are there, but there are a couple of uh, lesser known names who've also done exceptionally well at this stage. Loris Suli from Andorra. See the flags, they're just, well, they're, they're being moved around very, very slightly. Now by the wind, now the snow has almost stopped. Stromstead of Sweden coming in at the same time as Novakowska, Poland uh, nearest the camera. Here she is. Take away that minute, Patrick, and it's a very competitive time from Novakowska. The, the Poles have, have raised their game from what we've seen so far. Now, Sokolova, we're focusing on her because she's got the second fastest time after the first shoot of 9.06, just eight seconds outside Kuzmina. Nowakowska clear again. Nice looking position from Sukalova, but she's taking a long time. The lungs will be starting to burn. This is a vital shot. Nice technique though, Mike, impressed with that. It looks like a, a big improvement from last year. Very much, and, and when the World Championships, I suppose it's like the Olympics this summer in London, so many athletes are given, uh, are lifted because it's at home. You want to, to be at your best, to get some fame, to do well for your country, and uh, World Champs for the first time in Czech Republic, it's lifted the team without a doubt. But it has at this stage, they've got to learn to cope with home advantage and uh, it's so difficult to train for that as we watch Kuzmina now. Kuzmina, as you'll see, has missed one. She was the fastest by uh, a good distance after the first shoot, 8.57 her time there. 27.26 has gone from Berger. Oh, 
That's another expensive miss. I remember two years ago, Joseph Oberlacher uh, used to be coaching Makarainen. He's now moved. Uh, I suppose has made it easier as an Austrian to be training the Slovak team. Jenny Jonsson just about a shoot for Sweden. We'll try and uh, update you on her position. She's come in for a third shoot in the prone position. And uh, no sign of her performance in the top positions after two. Now, Lettler for the race of her career. And the perfect way to start her 2012-2013 season. The last five in the stand position. Pulse rate on 147. 161. 161 the pulse. 19 will do. Well done. Great shooting. Well, it destroys her challenge for a top three, I think, but uh, still she could find herself in the top ten with uh, 19 hits. Mazarina looking to join Berger, Villachina, Brunei and Lettler at this stage. Ava Tafalfi, incidentally, has gone uh, 15 out of 15 as well. That's good and quick. It's good, very quick, but uh, still a minute outside Tora Berger's time. And Tora Berger won't be long, Mike, before she's in for her final shoot. Tora Berger started number 23, 17 on the range for the last time. So uh, within the next three minutes, in fact, less than that, because here she comes climbing the hill ahead of Christina Palka. Now. 30 seconds easy skiing here in uh, Ustersund. On the approach to the range, that's uh, enough to get the pulse to a manageable level. It is. I think it's quite an easy range. You have a big climb up the hill, but an awful lot of descent prior to the flat as you sit into the range. So the first starter, Christina Palka, finishes at the same time as Simerienko. And Similienko, a very, very good time indeed. Gasparin, oh, what a shame. The last shot goes wide. 18 out of 20 in the end, which uh, is, is still a good result. But she was so close to producing a career best. But uh, she needs to dig deep. 39-19. She's not far off the leader. She might be able to chase down Palka in the closing stages. Here is Tora Berger, looking very, very focused indeed. 15 out of 15 so far. The Olympic champion, the world champion. Champion. Is she going to become the Ostersund champion? Unbelievable. Quite astonishing for this stage of the season to produce a shoot like that in an individual race, Mike. She's absolutely incredible. And you know what? That rifle barely moved even when she went through the recocking motion, which normally throws the end of the, or the sights off the target. That's an amazing performance once again from Tora Berger. Brunei, with that one miss on the last shoot, uh, has done well. 33 seconds outside Palka's time, but that one miss is going to be very expensive now. What about Dom Ratchava? Another miss puts her out of contention for the top prize. 36-42 was Berger's time, and Dom Ratchava would have been pretty much exactly the same at the start of the final lap. What a shame. What a shame, but it does show you just how good Tora Berger is, because she will have known that Dom Ratchava was hunting amazing and uh, that, that looks like Dom Rachiba has pulled back one minute on the ski time of Tora Berger to this point Gosner only four misses that's not bad at all watch out for her in the sprint that's where she can really show her her qualities Rigorin with 18 out of 20 has to be said Mike the shooting standard pretty good it's it's very good now I was looking after the third shoot we've got two Russians of course Glazrina and Vilokina third and fourth with 15 out of 15 Russian team looking pretty good and again for Grigorin it's just the stand shoot which has let her down but 42 off the pace
familiar figure of Andrea Henkel in her final charge. The race has finished well, and she's been climbing the order ever since the halfway point, but those two misses early on have put her out of contention for the top spot. Palka of Poland stays number one. Gustner on 48.17 is pushed down a place, and so it's Germany two and three at the moment. That's a solid start from Andrea Henkel. The German veteran is back and means business for this season. I think uh, she could be adding, adding to her tally of victories over the next few months. I think so, and uh, I'm quite sure that'll be a top 10 position. Uh, her 50% of World Cup racing, uh, this is her 327th race, have been 50% of them in the top 10. Well, there you see the standings, and uh, only one woman with uh, 20 out of 20, Tora Berger. 36, 42, and just exactly a minute inside Domrashev. What a shame we haven't seen those two skiing for the victory. Interesting hold there in the stand position. That's a slightly different hold than we saw last year. She seems to be locking her fingers into the carrying harness. How soon before we see someone else try that? Domrashev, the advantage of it, Mike, is that it rifles that little bit higher, and therefore there's more pressure on the elbow, would you say, in the support? Possibly, and maybe just enabling her to recock the weapon, because, of course, the carrying harness is fixed from the front of the wooden part, the, the rifle stock, and it, maybe that's locking it into the shoulder a little more than we saw before. Well, it's been a great day for Belarus. Uh, we knew Domrashev was going to be good, but Scardino has excelled here. 48.50 her time, 1.05 outside Palka's time and take nothing away from Palka who's had an exceptional run for the Polish Vilkina now is she going to join Berger and shoot 20 no is the answer to that 19 out of 20 and uh, suddenly drops down the order like a stone well I thought it's not easy and we only saw what two men yesterday hit the 20 out of 20 but I really thought Vilkina was going to do just that today not to be I did notice um, Amanda Lightfoot, the British uh, athlete, leaving the range. Unfortunately, she missed two in the first prone, and, but only 38 seconds off the ski time over the first section of the track. A pair who started clean and has missed three since then. Uh, going into the top ten for now, but uh, I don't think she'll stay there at 48-47. Uh, I think that's good news for... Dorana Bell, it's faster skiing than we saw last year, so without a doubt she's raised her game on the skis. Well, we're looking for a winning time of maybe somewhere around uh, 44, 45. <laughs> What a pity for Nowakowska, that's a two more penalties. Uh, Shikolova, who was very quick into the first shoot, but that one minute penalty has cost her, and another. Could all go horribly wrong from here. Good control. Well, here comes Tora Berger. Not only is the figure green indicating that she has the lead, it is a massive lead of 2.59, almost three minutes clear. And uh, what looks to be a convincing win. Darya Tomorasheva also going well, 101 behind. Tora Berger saving something for the last lap, as she always does. Something about Osterson, Mike. Uh, if you go back to the World Championships in 2008, she was up against Neuner. Didn't quite win everything on that occasion, but always when we come to Osterson, Berger is good. She, she loves it, and I think uh, we do see her in the early part of the season, at her, almost at her best. Of course, she did come good at the World Champs again 